Day 281, Journal Entry 146.4. The Federation has received several complaints of disturbances from a nearby star system on a planet designated MYO-B. Taking a small crew down with me to check it out. Anything, Professor? Nothing. Not a thing. This signal's been off the whole time since we've been... Wait a minute. We got something. Captain, I'm picking up some strange readings. What is it? Humanoid. Wait, it's gone. She seems hostile, Captain. My name is Charles Newkirk, Captain of the E.V. Obatala. Get out of here! We received alerts of several disturbances in the area. We mean no harm at all. We come in peace. This is private property and you're trespassing! I don't like this, Captain. This is my land! My God-given right to be here! on this planet, and you cannot tell me otherwise. What the hell is she talking about? I did not sign up for this. I will not have it. Do you understand that? I am a Christian woman of God. You are not going to put your disgusting rules on me that are false and not true. Say the word, Captain. Are you getting this, Lieutenant? Oh, I've got it. Damn. What the hell was that, Professor? Judging by what we just saw, I'd say that she belongs to a subsect or subgroup of self-disenfranchised spazoids from the moronic system. Self-disenfranchised? The spazoids colonized and ruled over several star systems for over four centuries. Then a virus wiped out three-fourths of this subgroup. Three-fourths? My god, what the hell happened? Guess they couldn't find a vaccine. Oh no, there was a vaccine. But most of them didn't believe in science. It's a moronic for you. Next thing you know, all those colonized star systems started to take back what was theirs. The spazoids, what was left of them, didn't like that. They expected everyone to fall back in the line like they used to. But those days were over. The fact that they were no longer oppressors led them to believe that they were now victims. These spazoids were so affected by this change that they themselves changed. Any resistance or opposition to their requests or demands caused them to melt down. Literally. Hence, the Karen was born. I've heard of these Karens. I've never encountered one. Until now. I'm not impressed. Yes. I studied this in early 21st century history. It's such an embarrassing time. It's hard to imagine. An entire group of people that needlessly and violently act out over the rejection of self-created delusions. Humiliation. Even death for nothing. What a waste. All right, let's burn this thing and get out of here. Hi, sir. Yet another planet, in another system, in one of many galaxies. We've seen a lot, but yet there's so much more to discover. We are the crew of the exploration vessel Obatala, scouting the cosmos, one sector at a time.